The Uzumaki clan has been one of the most popular and mysterious clans in the series. It was a very powerful clan that could rival even the Uchiha and the Senju. Despite Naruto being the member of this clan, he seems very distant from it and it looks like he's never really used his clan's techniques. But this is not true and today I want to talk about the times when Naruto used his clan's techniques but before starting I want to ask y'all to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. I hope y'all have a great day. Now let's get started. A lot of characters in Naruto had their own unique powers that were a trademark to their clans. For example, Sasuke was using his clan's Keke Genkai, the Sharingan. Inoshika Cho were using their clan's hidden techniques. Neji and Hinata were using the Byakugan, and so on. It was very cool to see different characters using different abilities that were the trademark of their families, and the clans in general had a very big role in constructing amazing world building for Naruto. However, there was one character who did not possess any ability that was unique to him or his clan members, and that character was none other than Naruto Uzumaki himself, the main character of the series. Well, this is understandable because Naruto was an orphan and he did not have any family members who could explain to him how to use his clan's techniques. Although both his parents knew about and could use Uzumaki clan techniques and would definitely have taught their son if they were still alive. However, despite that, Naruto has still used abilities of his clan and the first ability was when he used adamantine sealing chains. This is a sealing technique that is characteristic of the Uzumaki clan. Users produce chains made out of their own chakra which typically emerge from their torso. The user controls the chains as they extend outwards from their body, most commonly to wrap around targets and restrain them. The chains are extremely durable, enough that the nine tails would struggle to destroy them. Depending on the number and the length of chains that users intend to produce, they may prefer to initially create only a few chains, which they send underground to split apart and spread around the area as needed, leaving their immediate surroundings uncluttered. A barrier can be erected between two or more sealing chains, which is quite impregnable. Kushina Uzumaki creates such a barrier, not only to prevent the Nine Tails from escaping a defined area, but also to prevent the third Hokage from entering it. Because the chains are made of the user's chakra, they can be produced anywhere the user's chakra resides. When she was the Nine Tails' Jinchuriki, Kushina used the chains to bind the Nine Tail within her subconscious, and for this reason she never once lost control of its power. Naruto used this power in his battle against the Nine Tails in Chapter 498. After Kushina's death, some of her chakra was sealed within her son, Naruto Uzumaki, allowing her to produce chains from his body in order to help him combat the Nine Tails. Another Uzumaki clan ability that Naruto has used is the Tori Seal. With this technique, he can create several massing interlocking Tori that can even immobilize and imprison Kurama with ease. Naruto then isolated Kurama's chakra in another part of him, away from the fox itself, in between the four tori, so he could access it freely. It was later revealed that Kurama isn't always bound by the tori and has freedom of movement behind its cage, but Naruto can enter the cage without breaking the seal and still manipulate the tori to immobilize the fox if he wants. Interestingly enough, when this seal was made, Kurama made an allusion to the Sage of Six Paths, but never finished its statement. This technique looks a lot like Hashirama Senju's Gate of the Great God, and I assume that the Gate of the Great God could be some kind of version of the Tori seal. Hashirama's technique could also be from the Uzumaki clan, which he could have learned from his wife, a member of the Uzumaki clan. Also, maybe a lot of you didn't know, but the reason why Minato and Naruto's Jinchuriki forms are different from other Jinchurikis, and the reason why they even have the Chakra Cloak is because of the Tori Seal. When they enter Kurama mode, not only does the Tail Beast's Chakra activate, but the Tori Seal too, and the markings on their bodies are because of that seal. Also, prior to his battle with Pain, Jiraiya mentioned that Minato sealed the Nine Tails within Naruto partially with the intent of having Naruto master a certain type of technique. Although it was never elaborated on what the technique was, it's possible that he was referring to the Nine Tails Chakra mode as Minato wanted Naruto to master Kurama's Chakra. I assume that he read somewhere about the Tori Seal granting its users an ability to use the Nine Tails Chakra mode after defeating the Beast, and due to that we can assume that Naruto was not the first Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, otherwise how would the Uzumaki clan create Kurama Chakra mode if they could not use it in the first place? 
Maybe being the user of Kurama chakra modes is not necessary to use this power, and it could be the same chakra mode as was used by Ashura Otsutsuki, whom we know was not the Jinchuriki of any tailed beast, since tailed beasts were very little at the time of Ashura and Indra's fight. And according to Hagoromo, it was Ashura's own power that he awakened after harsh training. And who knows, the Uzumakis, who are the descendants of Ashura Otsutsuki, could have learned the power of their ancestor and leader, and written it down as one of their seals. Interestingly enough, when Naruto first used the Nine Tails mode, his previous seal's outward appearance had changed into the shape of a Magatama along with a swirl design that resembled Uzushiogakure's symbol. It was exactly the same marking that was seen behind Obito's back after becoming the Chinchuriki of the Ten Tails. Who knows, there could be some kind of connection. And as a bonus, it seems that at first, Masashi Kishimoto wanted to make the Rinnegan a rare mutation of the Uzumaki clan, as the Rinnegan seems to be highly associated with the techniques of the Uzumaki clan. For example, the human path is very similar to the Reaper Death Seal, especially if we remove the dying part. The Naraka path is very similar to Healing Bite. This path can supposedly heal the other pains, just like how Uzumakis can heal others with the Heal Bite. The chains that are used to subdue tailed beasts are really similar to adamantine chains of the Uzumaki clan. This one is a long shot, but the animal path is quite similar to how easily Uzumakis are able to control tailed beasts compared to other normal ninjas. My guess is Kishimoto at first decided to make Nagato a rare case of Uzumaki mutation, but later scrapped it in favor of Madara awaking the Rinnegan. That would explain the uncanny similarity between the Uzumaki clan and the Rinnegan. To be very honest, the reason why Naruto never needed to use Uzumaki clan techniques was that he was already overpowered because of Kurama in the first place. But now that Kurama is gone, he'll have no choice but to use them. Plus, we know that Momoshiki is living inside Boruto, similar to how Kurama was in Naruto. However, the biggest difference is that unlike Kurama, Momoshiki is not restrained and he can use Boruto's body, basically whenever he wishes to. So, in order to do that, Naruto has to use some kind of Uzumaki Fuinjutsu to weaken Momoshiki and make it easier for Boruto to control him. I'm very disappointed that the Uzumaki clan did not get enough screen time in the series, and Naruto himself almost never used their powers. But after losing Kurama, I hope to see him using his clan's abilities more often. The Uzumaki clan, in my opinion, has been the most interesting clan out there, and I'm very disappointed that we know so little about them. The most we heard about them was when Naruto met Kushina, who told her son about her clan, but that was just a brief conversation. Not a lot of people know why the Uzumaki clan was destroyed in the first place, or how strong they were, and I plan to do a video on this topic in the upcoming days, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I guess this is all for today. I hope all of you have a great day. Like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Astrojack out. Bye!